Hey folks, 1225 this afternoon, and right now we're looking at some streamer showers, some of them just off the coast of uh, South Padre Island and Browns. We'll look at this, some streamer showers heading north uh, towards the Brownsville area, and some of them have made it into the city, but just some really, really light rain at this time. Here are your dew points. It's also a really humid day, 72 degrees in McAllen, it's 71 in Wesico, 76 in Brownsville. That means the air is very humid and temperatures continue to rise this afternoon. 91 degrees in Brownsville, 92 in Harlingen, also in McAllen, 93 in Rio Grande. Grand City. Let's take a look at the heat index with the humidity, humidity and the high temperatures. We're looking at heat index values at 101 already in Harlingen, Raymondville, 103 in Brownsville. That's how it feels like on your skin. 103 at 12 in the afternoon. And here are your wind gusts right now. It's also uh, gusting to 31 miles per hour in Brownsville. So that wind kind of giving uh, some relief to the heat there. 24 miles per hour in McAllen, also in Wesico. And future track shows winds continue to increase through the rest of this evening and then they continue to die out through the overnight hours. We will see that winds will continue to uh, increase through the morning hours tomorrow and it will be pretty windy for the next few days uh, coming up here uh, on your forecast. And high temperatures today, 98 degrees in Rio Grande City, 96 in McAllen, 95 in Harlingen, and 93 in Brownsville. It'll be another warm and breezy and humid day across the valley. It feels more like summer already, 93 degrees at uh, 3 p.m. And, and by 6 p.m. we're looking at mostly sunny skies, 92, breezy and warm, partly cloudy by 9 p.m., 85 degrees, also breezy. And here is a look at future track. We see a big ridge of high, pre uh, uh, high pressure in the southern portions of the United States, and that's bringing in that southeasterly flow, really warm conditions across the valley. But we also see this cold front that continues to push southward, and it doesn't quite make it to the valley. It turns back up north as a, a warm front, but it brings in a slight chance of showers for Friday and Saturday, but we're only putting about a 20% chance of rain. It At the bay, winds out of the south-southeast at 15 to 25 knots, seas 4 to 8 feet, eight feet and we're, we do have a small craft use caution out there for the strong uh, winds and choppy waters out there. 94 degrees, your high, partly sunny, breezy, and hot winds out of the south-southeast at 10 to 20. And for tonight, we're looking at a low about 78 degrees, partly cloudy and humid, winds out of the uh, southeast at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Here is a look at your seven-day forecast. Temperatures continue to increase all the way through Thursday, 97 degrees. And look at the lows, 80 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. Those are your lows. So overnight and the morning hours, not much relief, but uh, it's still going to be pretty windy out there. Conditions uh, continuing to stay partly cloudy all the way through Thursday. Then Friday and Saturday, we do get that slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, 20%. And the temperatures do drop off a little bit because we start to see more cloud cover uh, coming into the valley Friday and Saturday. But then temperatures rebound back into the mid to upper 90s by Sunday, partly cloudy skies. That's a complete look at your first Warren 5 AccuWeather 7-day forecast.